What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at y'all to talk about my nape area. Um, I, have, I had a question on my... I don't know if it was my flat iron video or my moisturizing video that um asked me how did I grow my nape area back the last time because it's broken off again due to the chemotherapy and radiation. Um, but the last time I grew my nape back... Let me, show, let me turn around so y'all can see the back of my hair. Um, as y'all can see, it's broken off again. It did grow back from the last time when it when it when I wasn't taking care of my hair at all. Um, years ago, I wasn't, you know, I just had hair on my head. I didn't care. I just had hair. I wasn't trying to like do nothing specific with it and treat it and make sure it's moisturized and stuff every day. I wasn't, I wasn't doing all that. So as a result. You know, putting in all these different styles, styling it this way, styling it that way, and as a result, my nape was was breaking off, and it had broken off. It was about that short then, way shorter than it still is now. I still have some left, but I had grew this back to, like, down there. It was, like, way down there, and I was so proud of it, but unfortunately, I suffered another setback. I suffered another setback, and... Now I have to grow it back again along with a whole lot of other pieces of my hair. Um, so uh, what I did then is I braided it up. I actually, I think I wore crochet braids. And when I wore crochet braids, that was kind of a good thing. And might have been a bad thing too because I think the crochet braids hindered my hair from growing at its full potential because of the extensions because of the weave wrapped around my real hair I think that's you know just that's for me my hair you know that's not saying that that happens to everybody but I think it hindered crochets hinder my growth a little bit um, as far as I think it hindered my thickness because like, my hair would grow long, but it'll be stringy. And I wasn't even relaxing my hair when I had the crochets in. And still, from my roots, it wouldn't be as thick as it normally is without crochets. When I just braid my own hair down with no weave extensions at all. And I'm not saying that particular about the crochets. I mean, any weave. Like, when I braid my hair down with weave, I think it hinders the growth of my hair as well. Simply because I think when I'm when I go to moisturize my hair, that the weave takes up a lot of the moisture that I'm putting in instead of the, the moisture going into my hair. I don't know. I'm just guessing off the dome, y'all. I don't, I don't really know if that was the case, but... I did find that my hair thrives better when I don't put extensions in it at all as far as braided in extensions like crochets or um, added in hair extensions or something like that. I'm not talking about like weave in general because I love weave. Y'all already know I like me a good ponytail, a good wig, a good braid, a good crochet, good everything. But, but as far as me trying to grow my hair, crochet did not stop my hair from growing it. But I think my hair just got did better without the weave. So, um, anyways, I kept my hair in crochets. I don't even know how I went all the way over there, y'all. But anyway, I kept my hair in crochets and I kept treating my hair with the wild growth oil, um, which is right here. I did a lot of videos on this oil a couple months back. Um, and I used this oil right here consistently three to four times a week. And you can purchase this oil from your regular beauty supply store or you can purchase it on Amazon. And I'm not sure about Sally's because my Sally's here in Alabama, they don't sell it anymore. Um, but that wild growth oil to, to my scalp every couple days and keeping my hair in a protective style. And I would say a long-term protective style because I would wear my crochets for six weeks at a time. I think I went up to like six weeks, maybe to eight weeks, but mostly six weeks is the furthest I kept my crochets in before they will start to lock and be, you know, mad up and stuff. So, yeah, that's how I grew my, um, my nape area back the last time. So, guess what? I gotta do it again. I never knew I was gonna have to do it again, y'all. Um, I did press a lot of people. Uh, the other day when I flat ironed my hair, I got a lot of crazy comments, you know, telling me what I need to do and should do. And uh, I had nasty hair and all types of stuff. But you know, I've been through so much. Ain't a comment that ain't a ain't a negative comment in this world uh, can 
you know, steal my joy. You feel me? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. But I'm just going to show you guys now that how my nape grew back. Um, how my nape came out again. Um, and I am aware of that my hair is, you know, in, in, what, in the state that it's in. So comparing my nape to the hair that I have, my nape area had grown back to reach this. It actually caught up. A lot of people back then was telling me to cut my hair off to make, to to even it up with my nape and let them grow back together. But I grew my nape and my nape caught up with the rest of my hair. Okay, so now my problem is growing all of my hair. Now, if I can grow the nape and I can grow the rest, I can grow it all and make it back healthy again. Mark my words, I'm going to have a whole healthy head of hair. Anyways, for all my people who leave me good comments, thank you so much. Y'all brighten up my day, and y'all are the reason why I keep posting videos for real. Y'all the reason why I keep coming back with a new video on a new day. Just to just so I can so y'all can see my face. Cause I can't see y'all. I feel like I can see y'all face, but so y'all can see my face. But anyway, we're gonna go on this journey again. Again, I'm gonna braid my hair back up. Let me see if I can turn around so y'all can get a, a better view. Let me get. You know. Um, and I do feel I feel happy that I was able to grow my hair, even though my hair got damaged in the process. I was still able to grow out my hair, so I was not completely defeated by my hair breakage. Um. Because I can see that the actual length that it is, I do have like potential to when it when it does get back, you know, in its good state, that I have potential to grow my hair even longer and do better this round. Um, you know, because if I was able to grow, get my hair to grow out of my scalp this long. Um, I know it's damaged, but it still has never been this long in good shape. My hair has never been this long ever in my life, um, even though it's damaged. And I feel like if my hair never got, if I never went through the setback, my hair would have like been long and beautiful and, you know, still um, undamaged. Besides, besides the fact of having a relaxer, but I would have had a full head of relaxed, nice hair. Um, but... I'm, I'm actually, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling good about my hair, even though it's in the state that it's in, I still feel good about it because I know, now I know I can achieve great lengths, um, with my hair because I didn't, I never thought, I never thought in a million years that I could even grow my hair this long because it's like, I can touch my boobs with my hair, y'all. I ain't never been able to do that. Now, I was always able to grow my hair this long, but never to that extent so just imagine if my hair never broke off y'all girl but anyways i'm just happy that i got the hair on my head that i do because it was a lot of people at the cancer center that was completely bald-headed and i i was prepared to be completely bald-headed but i didn't want to be but if that's what if that would have been the path that was chosen for me i wouldn't have had to do nothing but accept that just like i have to accept this um and i'm not gonna chop it off to please anybody I am feeling great today and I thank y'all for watching my videos and we're gonna when I braid my hair up when I get my hair braided a or B girl cuz y'all already know I be wanting to get my hair braided y'all but anyways y'all please go subscribe to my other channel I'm gonna leave the, the link in the description box below and also in the comment section that channel is 24 karat gold I'm gonna be bringing some vlogs so y'all can see me in the raw form of me girl when I be ratchet and stuff but you know but uh, I'm trying my daughter told me yesterday my chin was fat. I'm like, girl, I know. I know. At one time, this time last year, I probably didn't even have a chin. Girl, it was like, it was gone. I was all sculpted and stuff. And I don't want to be sculpted. I want to be fat and juicy. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I don't even know why. I just, this is just a random video. I, you know, I came to talk about my nape and whatever else that popped out of my head. But, child, um, I think that's all I got to say in this video. And, um, I got to go over here and take care of Nivea this morning because she done woke up and I got to feed her some breakfast and things but yeah y'all we gonna get this nape area uh growing again so if y'all having problems with y'all nape y'all keep up with me keep up with my videos and stay tuned if y'all having problems with any part of y'all have y'all got damage like me from other reasons keep up with me because I'm gonna get my hair back in shape okay um 
without cutting it, without chopping it off, without doing a big chop. I'm going to get back in shape. Um, you know, I know it's going to need a little clipping from time to time, but I'm not going to just whack my hair off, to, you know, to satisfy somebody else. But, y'all, I think that's, I think I about covered it, y'all. So, let me go. I need to put on a little lotion and stuff. I just took me a bath. I'm getting near your situated. We're going to go outside. And, y'all, probably going to catch me on my other channel today. Um, it's called 24 Karat Go. And we're going to be doing a whole lot of things over there, okay? We're going to try to do different stuff than what we do over here. And, um make it a little interesting okay <laughs> okay y'all so that's all i got to say in this video and i will holler at y'all later bye